In battlefield of history, soldier used to wear this kind of outfit, and you can feel the pain inside. Due to unavailability of proper and better outfit, this metallic kind of outfit was used. This body armor used to protect soldiers on battlefield. Although these days active battles have lessened a lot, but need of such kind of protection is still there and have been diversified. Now, not only in battlefield, body armor is needed, but they are also needed at many instances. Making a lightweight body armor is always a dream. The advent of synthetic fibers have made it possible. And nylon sixes was the first used to make such kind of fabric. But discovery of aramid fiber brought a leap in hope of making body armor. Aramid fiber was discovered by Kolek in 1965 and commercialized by Dupont in 1972 under the trade name Kevlar. Later, commercial product using aramid family called Technora, Tuaron, Nomex, Tezin, Conex. Aramid fiber shows the following properties like as lightweight, flexible, and high strength. There is one more fiber which is getting attention for this use and that is ultra high molecular weight polyethylene. This material shows high performance to weight ratio. There are two kind of body armor and that is hard body armor and soft body armor. The hard body armor is made of metal or ceramic plates while soft body armor is made of fabric layers which is made of high performance fibers. Sometimes both are combined and given outstanding body armor. Usually, even with body armor, the person, like soldier, get injured but the level of injury is reduced and fatality rate is reduced too. Over the past few decades, there have been numerous efforts to innovate effective and protective body armor. Some recent innovative materials like as PBO, M5, these are most effective but costly too. What we actually want to do? What exactly the threats are? The threat is bullet and fragments from artillery cell when bomb explodes. So to prevent this, the idea is to make body armor and this armor should have the following qualities. The material should be strong enough, lightweight of material and low bulk, durable material that should be unaffected of ultraviolet rays. The material should be flexible enough to provide comfort. While making such kind of ballistic armor, one need to know that how does material behave on a ballistic impact? And we are not going to discuss about the hard material used for protection like a ceramic but soft material like a textile. The basic concept is that bullet or fragments do have high energy. And if any material could absorb this energy before penetration, it can help to stop the bullet. There are many factors like as bullet material structure, impact velocity, projectile shape, and which determines the energy absorption. We will look firstly that how ballasting impact on yarn and then how the impact on fabric. On impact, there are two waveform that is generated by impact that is traverse and the other one is longitudinal. We saw about how the yarn gets affected on impact and now let us see that how fabric shows on impact. On striking the fabric, the response is combination of global and local. The global response indicates the behavior of material away from the impact point and local response refers to the behavior of material directly contacting the projectile. We can understand by this way that when we hit a glass with a stone, it behaves differently to the glass hit by bullet. The bullet brings local damage more and global less on glass and vice versa. The similar case happen with the textile material. If you see about global response at low impact velocity, this kind of happens. The longitudinal wave speed is lower than that of the single yarn by a factor of square root 2. The longitudinal and traverse wave bring a strain energy and kinetic energy. The energy dissipation by friction between warp and weft, projectile and fabric and adjacent layers. While in local response, in majority, the yarn or fiber rupture take place. This happens when yarn or fiber strain exceeds the failure strain. Different kind of fiber shows the different reason of failure. For example, the para-aramid fiber fails due to fibrillation, 
while in ultra high molecular weight polyethylene the melt damage take place there is one more factor to consider at this time and that is head shape of projectile in case of flat head there is shear damage and yarn pull out it happens when velocity is low the friction among the yarn to yarn is concerning point in this case yarn pull out absorbs energy and hence it is important to study it okay so we saw that how fabric is responding to the ballistic and now we will see that what are the ballistic fibers simply we calling the high performance fibers as ballistic fibers in this case but before that we will see that what is requirement in fibers you know approximately half of the energy of the total is absorbed in form of strain energy in fiber the breaking of yarn and straining of the fiber is primary mechanics of energy absorption on impact the longitudinal velocity is important if the velocity would be higher then it will absorb more energy it happens in case of higher modulus of fiber if the modulus of fiber is low it will strain on impact zone will be much higher causing to failure although very high modulus like as in case of graphite it may be disadvantageous and may cause low energy absorption so we got some idea about the desired property and now let us see the fibers and the first one is aromatic polyamide which we also known as aramid the first polymer is paraphenylene terephthalamide it is made of it is made by introducing benzene ring and amide group the molecules are highly oriented with a strong interchain bonding and high level of crystallization which result in high modulus of high tenacity of fiber you know there is plate which provide high strength in aramid and uh, this is formed during coagulation resulting the desired property by using this concept some brand name products came into the market that is name as kevlar kevlar 29 kevlar 129 kevlar correctional kevlar protera and tuaron there are many types of fibers in this family the one more potential material is ultra high molecular weight polyethylene it is made of it is made through gel spun technology it is loosely uncoiled network of cross link and highly oriented that enables it to sustain great tensile load and you can imagine that it is 10 times stronger than steel there are many types of ultra high molecular weight polyethylene and you can see clearly that how they vary their properties now the next fiber is xylone which is uh, which chemical name is p phenylene benzo biso sazol and it was developed by dow chemicals and toyobo under the brand name xylone you know it is stronger than aramid body armor but it has a disadvantages that is it degrades in moisture condition although that is not a big issue carbon nanotubes are next generation of body armor and do have huge potential to be explored it does have young modulus in range of 270 to 950 gpa and uh, tensile strength in the range of 11 to 63 gpa with low density that is 1.3 to 1.4 g per cm3 this outstanding property generated from covalent bond between adjacent carbon atoms there are other fibers too like as m5 which is also known as pipd and uh, nylon m5 do have some properties like as light weight and uh, even in comparison to kevlar but it shows degradation under uv rays and uh, high moisture so here you can see the comparison of many fibers in one picture okay we saw about ballistic fibers there are many potential fibers here you can see that polymeric study is important for doing any work in this field and now let us see about ballistic fabric as fibers play a good role in making such kind of material in same way there is possibility that a good fabric structure can play a big role in it and you can understand by this if you make a sport fabric by plain woven you can say by experience that it will tear easily in comparison to fabric made by knitting process you can imagine it better way now i guess in ballistic there are woven fabric novel woven fabric unidirectional fabric felt and knitted fabric hybrid fabric system these kind of fabric are used in making ballistic fabric in woven fabric 
these do have much importance in making ballistic end material. In making material, the packing density is kept nearly at 0.6 to 0.9 and you know if packing density is less, then it can be traumatic to wear. Although, too much of packing density can also bring filler easily. Triaxial fabric do also play an important role in making ballistic fabric. The triaxial fabric shows better behavior on impact and you can see here. The next one is novel fabric and what we do in it that we increase the friction among yarns and this extra friction increases the pull out force. Besides it, there are a few modifications in a structure as well. These structures do so better properties. Unidirectional fabric so better properties and it happens because there is no yarn crimp. Knitted and non wind felts are not used in making ballistic as they perform poorly. One more type of fabric have potential to be used and that is hybrid fabric system. The design of fabric do matter and you saw it. And now let us see that how we evaluate ballistic material. For this there are three major methods and they are photographic and monitoring techniques, penetration approaches and non-penetration approaches. Ballistic fabrics do play important part in saving life from projectile, bullet and high velocity fragments. You saw some possibilities. Some are fulfilling the purpose now. Uh, some have potential to be used in future. Who knows what will be there in future. Anyone, possible ballistic material may be any of the given above or anything else very different from imagination. In past we used heavy and rigid material such as steel and now we are using high performance fibers. There is one more material that is called sear thickening fluids. You know, uh, it is a liquid in nature, but anything with force act on it, it behaves like solid. For making ballistic material, there are many work done by researchers. This is one of the many possibilities in making ballistic fabric. But one thing is clear. The ballistic fabric will be lighter, stronger and more durable and more comfortable too. And uh, that is sure.